Good afternoon everyone and welcome to LA Live. We're live from the beach as always here in sunny Melbourne at the Melbourne HQ for Luxury Escapes. And it's uh, my pleasure to be joined today by Kayla. Hi Kayla, how are you? Hello, good thanks. How are you doing today? Really good, good. really good. Kasha, how are you going? Hi, good, thank you. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to have Kayla and Kasha with us in what is a family holiday, family friendly special of LA Live today. So that's gonna be fun. And I think we're going to start with, firstly, a question to you, Kayla. What's the best holiday you've had with your kids? Oh, well, uh, I've got two little boys. Um, so my favourite place to, to take them is uh, to Hong Kong. One, wow. because my I didn't brother, expect that. Yeah, no, look, my, my brother lives there. So we make it an annual trip to uh, take the kids to Hang Hong Kong. And um, my eldest, who is nearly five, um, loves Disneyland there. So we find Beautiful. that every time we go, he's getting that little bit taller, so he gets to go on a new ride every year. So nice. that's, Good um, that's rather exciting for Good him. Perk. What about yourself, Kasha? Yeah. Best, best holiday? Holiday with your kids? Every holiday has been amazing, right. to be honest. But <laughs> You're a very positive mum. Yeah, I love holidays <laughs> because it's just a time to unwind. But probably, you know, the most adventurous, fun holiday we had was, you know, going skiing with the kids over in Japan right. and, and doing an adventure holiday. And yeah, that was really fun. A really good. fun holiday. So and everyone got back safe and sound and yeah. no broken legs on no the No broken on the ski legs. Field. Good, good so to hear. That, you know, just made go a little bit, but. Nice. That. Well, we often get lots of questions from our, uh, our, well, our customer base out there, so thank you very much. Just around uh, luxury escapes and the product that we sell, and of course, family friendly holidays are a hot topic. So, if anyone has any questions of Kalo or Kasha today, uh, feel free to drop them into the little comments box that you see on Facebook, and we'll be happy to answer those on the spot here right now. And of course, um, it's, it's really important to to hear from mums and to get mm -hmm. some tips about traveling with kids. So let's let's start there. Um, Kasha, what, what are your couple of tips that you'd love to pass on to, to new mums and dads out there thinking about their first family friendly holiday? Yeah, I think so, you know, obviously the fun things about planning a holiday is getting the right accommodation, but just some, you know, some handy tips is, you know, when you're looking at our offers, it's good to check all the bedding configurations yeah. and when you get away, you know, make sure you've got the, the right seats and safety equipment for your children when traveling in vehicles. And, uh, you know, making sure that you can find the quickest direct flights to your destination because there's nothing worse than being stuck in airports with children. I know it may be a little bit cheaper by doing it that way, but try and get there as directly as you can. Yeah, great tips. Mm. Bedding configuration thing is a huge one, isn't it? It's yeah. so hard to find a room that enables, uh, I suppose, two kids, um, yeah. even harder once you've got three, and you're probably gonna have to buy a second room, aren't you? So it's really hard, mm. and, and certainly sometimes the luxury escapes packages will take that into consideration, or at least give you the advice that you need. So that's a really important tip. Mm. What do you think, Kayla? Look, I, I also think um, being prepared, so if you are traveling by plane, by train, or um, even you know a long family drive, um, to put like an activity pack together, or yeah, load up the iPads, or um, something with new movies, or TV shows, or something. Um, that's always a good way to, to kill a, a long journey to get to the destination and, and certainly if uh, if you do experience some bad weather while you're there and um, you know you do want to keep them at at the resort in the room then obviously they do have their activity pack to to, to use um, otherwise I don't know I guess when I'm looking for, for places I, I also um, going back to, to Karsha's, I know that in some destinations you can actually reach out to local companies and hire car seats or prams yeah, right. or um, porta cots so if a resort that you're looking at doesn't offer these things then there are some local companies that you can actually reach out to so you don't have to lug them along as part of your uh, excess baggage so it's a great way to save some money on flights if if you need to take all that yeah great tips i'll tell you what i reckon uh, f families have uh, single-handedly driven the apple share price up it's amazing how many uh, <laughs> kids are walking around yes. with their own iPhones or iPads these days and playing games and watching yes. watching movies. So uh, yeah, pretty pretty cool tip. Now school holidays are just around the corner. I think that's the case in, in all states. Yes. Um, so Queensland and Northern Territory, what have we got? 24th of June to the 9th of July. New South Wales, Victoria and WA, 1st of July to 17th of July. I'll tell you what, this would be a lot easier if all states stuck with the same dates, but anyway. <laughs> and South Australia, 8th of July to 23rd of July. So it's not too late to book somewhere. And of course, we are Luxury Escapes. Uh, we specialise in curated, hand-picked holidays uh, with, of course, incredible value. And so we're going to spend some time now uh, focusing on some of the great holidays mm. that we have available in Luxury Escapes. Yeah. So, 
Kasha, talk us through um, talk us through a beautiful property that we've got available on the Gold Coast right now. We do. We have a property on the Gold Coast located in Kira Beach, right on the beachfront. Incredibly yep. family friendly beaches, yep. beautiful calm water. And the rooms are two bedrooms, so plenty of room so mum and dad get their own bedroom. So standard config is two beds? Two beds, two bedrooms, two bedrooms okay. kitchen, fully self-contained, but the the your jewel is the is the amazing ocean mm. view straight out the balcony yeah, overlooking Kira Beach. Uh, it's sensational. So that's for five nights, lead, lead off for seven ninety nine. Wow, mm, yes. that's not bad. Seven ninety nine, five nights, and that's for two bedrooms. Yes, yeah. two bedrooms, okay. incredible value. And that's when you've got cool. kids, you want two bedrooms. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, it's not. And if you day. don't, you, if you don't, you can still take the two bedrooms too. Uh, that'll be fine. Uh, probably not as convenient, but that, that works okay too. Yeah. All right, now we've got our first question of the day. So thank you, big thank you to uh, Dion Anderson. Uh, the question is. Or is it a question or a statement? Anyway, we'll check it out. Hi, we've been to Phuket twice with our five and seven year old, which was amazing. Mm. Sounds amazing to me too, Dion. I would love to go to Phuket. Um, I wouldn't be going with my five and seven year old because I don't have kids, but Kayla and Kasha, tell us about Thailand. Yeah. I reckon Thailand would be pretty cool with yeah. kids. Yeah. I've actually just booked a recent offer that we've had to take my two children. Where are you off to? to uh, I have to put in my annual leave form. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Merlin Beach Resort in Beautiful. Phuket. Beautiful, great. So my children are six and nine, so I chose a family-friendly resort in Thailand because I would love for them to experience the culture of Thailand. It's amazing, such beautiful people. Yeah, wonderful. Laid back, beachfront holiday. Now we do have a great product in Thailand right now, don't we? we? Do. We've got so a couple actually. Got a Let's have a yes. chat about those. Yeah. So um, Anantara is is an amazing one, and the great thing about this package is you can actually take up to three kids, which is quite good considering most packages are That's for two awesome. kids. So to be able That's to take three, you can always bring a friend along if one of the kids has got a friend. If you don't have three, or so the price that we are offering is inclusive of three children. Absolutely, right. yes, that's, that's fantastic. Yes, yeah. no, and uh, it is an all-inclusive package as well. So it includes your meals, uh, your non-alcoholic beverages babysitting so you can actually offload the children even though it's a family holiday you still get that couple time to enjoy yep. uh, yourselves um, if you want a little bit of family bonding there's actually a private Thai boxing session as well which is wow. rather cool, that is rather <laughs> yeah, cool. I, I quite like that myself yep. um, and then certainly complimentary uh, kids clubs included too so um, that's uh, a really good price of just under a thousand dollars per adult so and the kids are free yeah beautiful so that's Perfect. the Anantara Seacal um, yeah. Beautiful product, and I, I tell you what—if you don't know the Anantara brand, it's, it is absolutely world famous. It's high quality, it's five star, and that one in particular is beautiful. And as we said, very much family friendly. Yeah. All right, now let's uh, let's change gears. Uh, we're going to yeah. head to Fiji. Tell us about the village Ooh, coconut. This this is amazing. This so far, it's incredible. Great. So this is also an all inclusive package. Yep. And that is your all meals and all alcohol for adults, not for the children. We're loving the all inclusive as well. <laughs> yes, we are. And up to two kids can stay in a one bedroom pool villa. So you will need to upgrade to a one to a one bedroom. But yep. when you do upgrade to a one bedroom, you automatically receive a complimentary upgrade to a two bedroom villa, right. which is perfect for kids. So fantastic. Uh, yeah, that's so that's two and that's two thousand four hundred ninety eight dollars. Uh, and there's an upgrade surcharge just for the children, but it's still fantastic value for money. And Fiji is incredibly family friendly. Well, sorry, I will actually correct you. That one actually is in Phuket. Which one? Anantara? <laughs> no, 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 the Coconut Village. Village Coconut Island, Fiji. Well, our well, producer has got that incorrect. I should have yes. known that myself. So uh, apologies <laughs> to all of you out there. The Village Coconut Island in Phuket. But, uh, but we do have a great we family We do have offer. the outrigger. We do. We'll correct we ourselves. Do. We're yes. back on board now, Apologies for that. <laughs> so uh, the one, the outrigger in um, Fiji looks uh, amazing. Um, it is, uh, currently there is limited availability during the June, July school holiday. So you will need to plan that one a little bit more in advance, maybe the September um, or December school holiday period. Yep. But it's 999 for um, each adult, which is once again great, below that um, yep. thousand price. Two kids stay and eat free, um, and if you want that cultural sort of um, experience, what do I get? What do I get? Um, well, I'm like a kid the, well, they've got the um, the fire walking, which is pretty cool. I took what? my, my. Would you let your kids fire walk? Sure. I don't think I'd let myself fire walk. Right, yeah. fair but, enough. 
But if I wanted to let someone, I'd probably let them do it yeah. right up first. <laughs> but um, I actually took my, um, my eldest, um, when he was only six weeks old, to Fiji. And um, I must say, they are the loveliest people, so child-friendly. They just love children. I remember sitting down for breakfast one morning. They actually came and collected my son, took him off so that my husband and I could just sit and enjoy a beautiful breakfast together without having to, to worry about a, a baby crying or um, disrupting breakfast. So it was really nice. Um, but that one does have a kids club, water sports. Yep, yep. There's just so much that they can yeah. do in Fiji and they get yeah. that cultural and it's such a short flight from, from pretty much anywhere in Australia. So yep. yeah, really appealing Fiji. Great recommendations. Mm -hmm. All right, now we've got a, another question. So thank you very much to Rob Turner. And Rob has asked us all uh, best recommendations for the best hotel yeah. uh, in Bali for seven and five year olds with a kids club, etc., uh, says Rob, please. So, um, I've certainly got a tip. Have you guys got one you'd love yeah, to share? Yeah, All right, well, let's start with you, Kasha. What have you got? We have the best deal ever right. for right. Bali right now. Yeah. It's Talk us through absolutely it. incredible. And honestly, I want to go on another holiday. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, this one is at the Moven Peak Resort and Spa yes. in Jimbaran Bay, which is a beautiful spot in Bali, very relaxed and laid back. Um, it, ha it doesn't have a bed or building the school holidays, but it is only around the corner, so you may want to plan a bit further in advance yep. anyway. Yep. Uh, but it's a two kids stay free package. It's a grand opening special, so a brand new resort. Yep. Uh, it's got a kids club, a special water slides and fountain play area for the children, family pools, afternoon tea with like cakes, desserts, but my favorite thing, Chocolate hour. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate hour. Chocolate right. hour. Chocolate hour. Chocolate hour. So that includes uh, what? What do we get in chocolate hour? Is it just an all-encompassing oh, Willy Wonka yes. factory? Yes, with lollies as well, which <laughs> the kids will will love. Right. Uh, and there's also a kids dining section. So when you go to breakfast, the kids can go and hang out and get you know meal options for children that have been picked just for them, yeah. and play on the entertainment over in a special corner. So mum and dad can have a peaceful breakfast, which is nice in the morning. Beautiful. Now yeah. we should say Bali is, as a whole, as a destination, just incredibly family friendly oh, these days. Yes. Yeah. Uh, great, great places to eat. They're all very welcoming. Mm. Um, now beautiful beaches and of course these these amazing resorts so yeah. um yeah. and it's also a really short flight as well so if you are worried about easy. taking yeah. your children on really long-haul flights it's um yeah. yeah nice quick flights and generally all direct flights which are, are good as well yeah wonderful now i should say that we've obviously got a very uh a very informed sales team who's always available uh, to our to our customers uh, at any given time. So of course, uh, just pick up the phone one three hundred eight eight nine nine zero zero, and you can talk to any one of our concierge team, and they certainly are very much versed on the product that we have available. That is certainly family friendly or, or otherwise for that matter. Uh, but they can also help you out with just general tips for the right destinations and, and when to go and all those types of things. So please do reach out if you've got any of those questions, and certainly the team will will be able to help you there. Um, all right, now I've got a, I've got one one final question for you guys. So, you know, let's say the kids are driving me mad. It's uh, school holidays, and you haven't got a holiday plan. You're at home, so it's almost a staycation. What do you guys do to pass the time and make sure the kids are really really occupied and and uh, having a good time? Yeah, so you know, to put you on the spot, that is. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Like that's constantly something that we have to handle with children. Yeah. I think first of all, just try and find an activity for them. And if you just sit down with them for 10 minutes and set up an activity, like a craft activity, yeah, create a, a scenario for them to start drawing and, or you know, help, help them find some inspiration. And then they're quite happy to potter away once they've had a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time with you. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it's, I think it's really important to take time out with children and just have a break from routine. I know there's always washing to hang out. There's always dishes to be done, but take the time out, spend time with them and enjoy them while they're young. And that's what's so important about holidays too, is just throw it, throw routine out the window and just enjoy yourself. Now, would you ever go into a room in your house, remove all of the furniture and replace all of that furniture with chocolate? And then just see how that goes down a bit like. <laughs> and then close the, the door. Bit. Yeah. You certainly wouldn't want to leave the door open if you've filled it with chocolate and children. Bad combination. Right. As you can tell, I'm not, I'm not that well, well, well. I'm not very experienced in that regard. But I, I think that sounds like a good idea. Chocolate yeah. room. Chocolate that's room. Just, that's just me. And then, and then so. drop them to your house to right. look after them. <laughs> 
Yes, yes. No, look, for me, my, my kids personally aren't uh, at that school holiday period yet. I think that'll come next year, but um, certainly uh, if they are at home and, and I've taken leave, then uh, I look to offload them with grandparents so I can mm. actually have a holiday myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's, that's my tip. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, well, a very big reminder to everyone out there that we have a beautiful collection of all-inclusive hotels and luxury escapes at the moment, many of which are family friendly, so don't forget that. We've certainly got something for all of the families out there. And of course, they're always at the best prices on earth. Uh, you can buy those online at luxuryescapes.com. Speak to our concierge team at 1300 889900. And uh, a happy school holidays to you both. Well, before, before we wrap up, I would actually like to give you the heads up on a new deal that right. will be launching Sweet. tomorrow. Right. Now, this one is closer to home. I know we've spoken today a bit about um, international campaigns. Queensland. This one is for Queensland. Yes. yes. Right. Yeah. So, we have the wonderful uh, Siebel Twin Waters uh, launching tomorrow. Right. Now, it has two and three bedroom um, apartments. So, lots of space for families, for groups, for, for couples, you name it. Um, but it's got amazing facilities, its own private saltwater lagoon, oh, wow. water activities, um, you know, bikes, beaches, you name it, it's a kids club. So check out that offer tomorrow when it uh, when it when it's live and um, yeah, travel yeah. close to home as well. Great. A, a little tip for Twin Waters, I will say, yeah. is just bring some you know some groceries along too because there's a really good ba balcony overlooking the bushland with your own private barbecue. So chill out on the back deck and have a really nice night with the mm. kids, or, or, or you know, or just put the kids inside and relax out in the balcony <laughs> with a glass of wine. Nice, Are you so we've got trend here? I, I like it. I like it. <laughs> Balconies, barbecues, chocolate rooms, a bit of wine, and we're all happy. Kids locked away. Right, good. Enjoy yeah. the holiday. So we've got Thailand, we've got Bali, we've got Fiji, we've got Siebel and Twin Waters, which is obviously Queensland. Did I miss anything? I don't think I did, no, um, which is exciting. So family friendly <laughs> week. I uh, hope you all have wonderful school holidays and thank you again for tuning in to LA Live. Over and out. See you. See ya.